get a chance right now to be a part of the Buffalo Bills, the team we grew up watching, going to games for. Jeez, I love this game. Well, he ruins is coming out in all red, and Pony's going to be the home team. He's going to be wearing the the blue jerseys with the white pants. And here we go, semifinal number one here in Buffalo. Breaking a few tackles out to the 21-yard line. So Pony's going to start with the ball here. It's going to be key possession. We talked about how big the running game is here in Madden 18. Chewing that clock and sometimes getting three is a good thing. Yeah, uh, Madden, usually you don't see punting, you don't see kicking in Madden. This year you can find yourself in situations where it's a game of who wants to throw it away on offense more. you got to be conservative, you got to protect that rock, and you've got to not turn the ball over. And both of these guys do like to run the ball. First and 10 from the 21. And he'll be taken That's down here at about the 23 yard outside. line. Pick up Just a, a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and, and nine. Nice job by the defensive that front there to hold him to a short that gain that on that first down. Uh, well played, formation. I must say. Yeah, only getting one yard. There was no room to run. So a little, little something new right there. Not the normal uh, pitch offense that we see, but taking some flavor from Stevie J right there, just in another formation. Well, you know, so nine many yards still remaining here to pick up the first on second down. Alternative playbooks in on offense and defense. For Shazier and they're a tight end. That's going to be a big key. Part of the meta right now on second and nine. Play clock running down. No Coming in. Out of the gun. Trying to run inside, but nothing good run there. Defense off the start here by Heat Ruins. No gain on the play. And he's in this gun bunch. And I have a note here from Heat Ruins. He said he is so comfortable playing against this gun bunch formation. He sees it about 30 times a week, he said, when playing on the ladder. It's the most popular offense, so. He feels ready for this. He's going to get the back, see if we can get to see if he's going to back up those words right here on this opening drive. Cunningham slings it to the outside, and there is Cooks. And he'll work his way to the 40 yard line. That's a big play right there from Tony. You don't want to come out on your first drive, on your first position, get yourself in a fourth down situation to be able to pick up the first down right away. That helps those nerves go away some, Scott. They both, everybody talked about it. They said, be in here. It, it's not about. You know, I'm going to get angry, I'm on tilt. They said, I'm just nervous. That's where my emotions are at. So getting that first down will really help calm those nerves a little bit to Pony. So it's 3.30 to go. And I think we're going to pause the game for a moment here just to... You know, we got, we got the big guns in here today. We got uh, Justin Chow hanging out with us. Anytime you bring Justin Chow up from Orlando... You know you got a serious, <laughs> serious tournament going on right now. Yeah, Justin Chow, the admin 2.0. You see him right there on screen. Former competitive player, actually made the Madden Challenge Finals in Madden 08, losing to Problem. That was the first time Problem ever won a major. So he's a grizzled veteran in the game. Has contributed so much to competitive gaming. Puts in countless hours. A true legend. And I don't like, he's my roommate, he's a good friend of mine. I don't like saying <laughs> good things about him like that in public because, you know, he might hold it over my head. But it is what it is. He's a good dude. He puts in a lot of work, and we're lucky to have him here. Looks like we're, we're getting all set now. So second eight. Third. Pass completion on third and eight is the key play so far on this opening drive. Ball at the 42. And Ruins... He usually plays with a deflated um, mutt team. He, th he says this is his first time really getting to use those 91 zone type elite defenders on his defense. So he, he's feeling confident that he's going to be able to get some things done on defense with these new toys that, that he got. Because, of course, once you make it here to the live event, we give you the keys to the Ferrari. The whole <laughs> entire mutt binder opens up and you can use whatever items you want to build your team as long as they fall under that 750 cap. So that's another cool perk of making these live events. I've been there once or twice. It's, it's a dangerous proposition to have all that power. And a nice job of the run to the outside. Got some good blocks down at the 27 yard line. And look at Tony, a little pat on the leg. He's getting pumped up. First drive, marching down the field. That pitch is looking good. He's got space on it. Good start right here for Pony Montana. Two and a half to go in the quarter here in a nothing nothing game. Semi-final number one here in Buffalo. Time able to pick up a 
gain him nothing. And that's that Madden Harvest collection, Matt Rita. He's a 49ers running back. He's got 90 speed and 85 juke move, and he's only 32 cap. That's actually the same running back I'm using when I play at home in salary cap. Yep. He's absolutely nasty, RG, when he gets on the edge. Good item. Fake snap right there from Pony. Try to get him off sides. Nice pass. This is Hill. And he's able to work to the 12-yard line. So all of a sudden, Pony Montana's in the red zone. It was single back doubles north. I like it. He told me about that formation. I'm like, I don't know what that formation is, but doing a great job. And when you're in this tight doubles formation, you got to watch out for that pitch right there to the left. He's going to lose two. Second and 12. You know, running game is such a big part of his game plan thus far. You seem like you'd want a super goon at, at, at running back. It, well, he, he would have liked to do that, but you've seen that 3-4 defense. It's filled with goons, so you got to make a sacrifice somewhere. You see Pony here. He comes out in that gun bunch. And I think that's the thing. You know, they, you know how tough it is on offense. You know you got to have those guys on defense with the, the 91 zones. The, the Avengers out there. They that, call them the Avengers. But that's going to cost you a lot of cap to have a defense like that. Yeah, absolutely. And it's interesting. You, you, Ruins put together a pretty decent squad on defense, even though he spent so heavy on his offense. I mean, he still has guys on that defense right now, like Derek Brooks, most feared Michael Kendricks, Akib Tlaib, Telvin Smith. So he's got some goons out there. Earl Smith, uh, Earl Thomas, Ed Reed. Uh, we got to go check Heat Ruins. I don't know how we got under the cap, man. That old line, it must have been tanked completely. Coming yeah. out in that 3-3-5 three, three, wide. You got to watch this toss right here. Either left or to the right. That he had, it's the only thing he's really showing that he wants to do out of this formation. Since he motioned them. Sides it a little. Well, deception goes back against the motion. But goes nowhere. Big third and 12 coming up for Pony. Yeah, that threw me off. I thought once he was motioning them to the right. I'm like, oh, this is obviously going to be a tart toss right but a little setup play making sure that ruins knows he needs to respect it on both sides third and 12 at the 14. gotta watch cooks with the post route over the middle right here opening drive of the game cunningham looking to the end zone has got to get rid of it and he does it to be a big time sack off the edge it's gonna be fourth and 19 he's gonna have to take the fig newton hey we talked about it earlier though as long as you can get in this game that's the important thing so in no, uh, uh, previous Madden's Pony might have been sad about not getting seven right now but the fact that he was able to drive it down get into Ruins territory and turn it into points that's got to be a victory right there for Pony Montana taking a ton of time off that clock as well seconds left in the first but if you look at he Ruins you got an opportunity now Man, I'm telling you I'm looking at Ruins roster and I'm just like how did you fit all of these boots Smart kid. I mean, he's going to school for chemical engineering. And, hey, to be a full-time student and be able to qualify, that's a big deal. You see, see the replay there. Big. Just actually did a nice job picking up the blocks. Had time. Just no one was open what, downfield. Well, we talked about the keys to the game. It's don't, you know, force passers. Don't make bad reads for Tony Montana. He's keeping it safe right there. And sure he doesn't do that. And sure he got the points. There's Adrian Peterson, longtime Viking. Went to the Saints, now he's out in Arizona, but he lose five on the first carry. He's kind of balling. He's balling out there. Yeah. In Arizona. Yeah, they got so many injuries out there in Arizona that you need, you need someone to tote it. Second and 15 now. And here comes the Heat, able to get rid of it. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, and that cover for Mike. Uh, Tony Montana told me he found some new heat out of that four-man rush coming from the 3-4 under. And that was a good example of it right there, as you saw the linebacker shoot right through the gap and make a play. And Tony getting a little animated. We hear him over here screaming, come on, baby. Starting to get that momentum going early. Third and 15. This is big, Coach Ray. A big down here for Ruins. Motion across the formation. He's got... Reed Cooper off to his left. Play action. Get him. Get him. Get him. Oh. Get him. Sack. That's going to get Pony Montana animated because now it's fourth and forever. 
And that was a good sack. He clicked onto that defender and went and got the quarterback himself, taking a page out of Jay Mills' playbook that we saw last year. Cody Montana, like we said, he knows what's on the line. He's streaming full-time, he's gaming full-time, and the win here would do wonders for that career. So he is going to leave it all out on the line. And real quick, Scott, i got to give a shout-out to Pony's wife, Rena, who's at home watching, who supports him in his streaming. You can often see her on the stream, pumping him <laughs> up and all that. So, Rena, thanks for putting up with him. He's out here fighting for you. Thanks for tuning in. So three nothing lead for Pony. And here's the start to the second quarter. There's Tyree Kill. Has the speed but can't get away, but he's in plus territory at the 44 yard line. Look at this sack, and you're gonna see Pony click on right there and make the dive, use a sack at the top, and that's how you get it done. Anytime you can click on and make a play as a user, that's what you want to do. Good job right there by Pony. That's key. You know, you get, you get someone to a three and out, you make somebody punt. You can see the average possessions. You don't get a lot in that in football. Yeah, oh, absolutely not. Only playing five-minute quarter games. You've got to be more aggressive. Had the ball for over four minutes last time he had it. Second and seven. Cunningham. Finds Shazier. Shazier gets... Lit up. And look at Ruins. Clicks on, makes a hit stick at the point of the catch, and he doesn't even blink. I mean, this he knows how to keep his composure. This young 23-year-old man from Buffalo, New York. Ball at the 41, big third and seven. You see it, he's in a two-deep safety right here. You got the, both those safeties right there, cover two look. Randall. Should have been picked off downfield. And now a big fourth and seven, he's gonna go for it. Yeah, he's absolutely going to go for this. This is gonna be interesting. This is a big play. And look at the composure of both of these guys, though. And that's one thing I've noticed about all our competitors, Gold Trainers. They're all very even keel. Yeah. They don't seem like they go on tilt. And we always talk about how key that is. And this shows you that. We have four guys here that seem like they know how to keep their composure and keep their cool, and that just speaks even more volumes to how important of a trait that is if you want to be successful in competitive Madden. I mean, you know, most of these guys are relatively unknown. People wouldn't expect them to be here, but you know what, they're handling their business like men. Yeah, I think you know, a lot of people come in and say it's Pony Montana versus the field. From what we've seen in the warm-ups, that's not how we feel. Be. Any of these four guys could take home what a tackle! That's gonna mark him short. Big time play by Ruins, and he's gonna take over at the 34 yard line, inches away from a first down. Oh, Pony knows that was huge. A chance to get all kinds of momentum. He could have got a drove down there after the stop, got a touchdown, makes it two possessions, and now finds himself right back in a hell situation after the grizzly stand from he ruins this game. First to 10 at the 34. Rodgers rolling to the left. And has Andre Reed, the Bills legend, down at the 35-yard line. Wow, he ruins this Reed rolling outside the pocket. Use that playmaker mechanic. Look at this. For you that don't know at home, you flick that right stick up. It'll tell your receiver to go downfield, get behind those zones. Big gain into field goal range. He ruined standing up for his hometown of Buffalo, New York. I like the all red color rush as well. Those are nice. First and 10 from the 35. Scream! Come here, come here dog. Come on. here, man. Still, <laughs> still come here, alive. man. <laughs> but they're able to wrap him up at the 43 yard line. I don't even know if wrap yeah, it up is the right turn. Way, Put two hand touch on him. <laughs> Second and 18. That was wild. Ponies over there yelling, come yeah, here, man. <laughs> Get hands on him. And Ruins, one thing, he's in this New England Patriots offensive playbook. He says he's been running this playbook for 14 years straight. <laughs> so he doesn't bother labbing any other playbooks. He said when the game comes out, he, he rocks with that Patriots offense, which is odd to see from a Bills fan. Yes, they play right here in Western New York tomorrow. New Era Field, 
It's a buzz. Oh, we already yeah. saw some guys tailgating out there. We're oh, you could more than a day before the game. That's a meaningful game for the Buffalo Bills tomorrow. And you can feel the aura out here in Buffalo. They're ready to rock. Second and 23 after the Let's go, man! flag. And another big sack. This time it's Shazier. And once again, third and 36th. Hey, I mean. Yeah, he had a fourth and 40 <laughs> before. Hey, Ruin said he doesn't want to turn the ball over. That was his key to the game. And he might be being a little bit too conservative with that rock right now. Taking two straight sacks. Gets himself in the third and uh, it's not very manageable. <laughs> third and math. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well said. Oh, my hey, Rock goodness. Once again. That's a Can't get rid of it. And this is what you're seeing, Cole J. We talked about it. That Ruins roster is stacked, but the one place he completely tanked was that offensive line. And you can see these 10 cap guys just getting thrown away and getting manhandled. Three straight sacks. I bet he's wishing, wishing he invested a little bit more in that offensive line after that series. Yeah, it said he was used to the, the weak line, but and he could handle the block sheds. A little bit faster guys coming in on him. And that's a good point. What, what Ruin says he does to prepare to get used to using that weak offensive line is he takes his salary cap offensive line and plays them in much seasons where there's no salary cap. So he's used to the goons coming at him. But, hey, Pony Montana's a different kind of animal. He's got room! To the running game. Oh, no. I can't fucking... Ah! Oh! 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 Nice stick work down to the 34-yard line. Oh, yes, Cody has it. a smile uh -huh. on his face. He knew once he cut yeah, to the left, he could have really you. got on his horse and brought it in for a touchdown to make it two possessions for the huge tackle by yeah, Ruins. What a hell game. Can I say? That might take us to the two-minute warning here. We get three oh, to nothing. And a defensive game. Pony had a nice drive to start the ball game. Took over four minutes up. Had to settle for a field goal, but the field goal is all he's needed thus far. Yeah, they're playing good defense. And yeah, points, when you can get points, you take them. Let's remember the Ruins will be getting the ball at halftime. So if Pony can make his two possessions, especially going into the second half, he'll be in great shape. Good time run defense there that time. So that's going to bring up a second and 12, and it might be big here to try to keep him out of field goal range. Yeah, well, let's take a look at who does he have at kicker. He's so got Matt Prater. Uh, Matt Prater can boot the ball. Yeah, he's 88 overall. Matt, so Matt, still in range right now, but of course we don't know what the wind is. I, I was talking to Joke at the Jets Club event, and he, he was saying now uh, Matt Prater is the guy to go with that kicker because he's one of the few kickers you can also sub in at the punter position, yep. and he, he will give you a decent punt every now and then as well. So you're able to tank the punter. Great throw to the outside, but Cooks can't hold on. Pony was talking to himself, but then I gotta catch that. 91 seconds left in the half, and we're gonna have a timeout here. The final one by Pony. What a first half so far. Oh, this is a tight battle. A big turn That's all I was right saying. Any of these four competitors can win a trip to Orlando. That's how even this field is. Oh, this is wide open. I mean, people say Pony's the favorite, but you talking to the rest of these competitors, they know what they're doing. And then you got a guy like Gibbs, who's a former two-time Madden Challenge yeah. regional winner who just got back in the mix of things, but you know he knows a thing or two about competitive Madden. Cunningham. Oh. Smart to throw it away. That would have... Definitely knocked him out of field goal range. Oh, that would have been devastating. That would have been devastating for the Thank goodness for Pony that he I was think he's going to ball see, he's gonna, He thought about going for it. Now he's, he's going to punt it. So with a 53-yard field goal from there, but with a minute 25 to go, he's going to punt it out of there. If I'm Pony in this situation, I think I would have came out in field goal, take a look at the kick arc, lined it up, see if I could have hit the field goal. If I couldn't, I'm taking a delay a game and then I'm pumping the ball. But he, he must have labbed already. He probably knows what he can and cannot kick. Cooper will fair catch it at the 13 yard line. So with a minute 19 to go in the half, trailing by three, this is a big opportunity here for Ruins. Yeah, Ruins, the hometown hero, gets the ball at half. Has his lab partners and friends, Zach and Jake, in attendance here, rooting them on. I mean, this is a chance to really put on Coltrane. If you could go down and get three or seven and get the ball back at halftime, you put yourself in control of this game. But it starts with this drive right here. 
It's not going to be a good way to start it. Loss of four. Got 90 yards to go. I'll take a look at his kicker as well, Dan Bailey. So he needs to get to about the 30-yard line, 33 or so. You got to run. He's got well, everybody just leaking out over to this left side. You got to look for him to dump it over there and then his players to pick up blocks. Nope, he goes deep. Through the corner now, no one there. I'm telling you, with Cody Montana with no timeouts, I run the ball. Just to make sure. And he might have should have ran it on second down. Because you're going to get to a point where you might have to kick it back and you're gonna, it's going to cost you points. He's Michael Pilardi. Pony did a good job of taking away that underneath stuff on Williams right there, forcing Williams to go deep downfield. He really wanted to check the ball down underneath. That's going to be a false start. Half the distance to the goal, so that's going to put him back in the five-yard line. Those 10-cap offensive linemen <laughs> are killing them. They're killing them. They're killing them. They can't block. They're not disciplined. I mean, the, the team looks great on paper, but you take the offensive line into account, and now all of a sudden it's a scene. It's a little motion on third and 19, and now you got to be careful not to take a sack that costs you two points. Get him. Rodgers. Throwing it over the middle, and Andre Reed with a huge catch. He is balling out here in Buffalo. You don't think the Bills legend's <laughs> going to ball out in Buffalo, New Era Stadium? He's not messing around. That's why you go ahead and get yourself a legend wide receiver, because he can hold on to these passes in traffic. Look at this. And it's a game of inches. Ponies use a defender just a split second short right there. Good throw under pressure as well by Rodgers. Like he was been using Derek Brooks. Couldn't get over there. First and ten. And he's going to lob it up. Oh! God. He couldn't hold on. Had it for a moment. Maybe underthrew that one a little bit. Yeah, Rodgers just didn't put enough mustard on that one. And I was just paying him tribute because he had a beautiful throw to play before under pressure. Uh, you know, quarterbacks are known in this game to overthrow it under yeah. pressure, but that's the benefit of having Aaron Rodgers, but on the next play, he's just not able to just let it rip. Could have been a touchdown. Lead in motion, second and ten. Still has a timeout. Good boys. And there's Pauly Come Krause. on, baby. Come Speaking on. Come on. Some of the big hit, third and ten. Come on, baby. I need to be a good job right there. I need to be a bumble. Just kind of moving around in the pocket me, so the blockers can pick up those three rushers. you got to kind of set your blockers up with pockets. Right Great now, bro. job by Williams. I need to right 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 play action. That's what I need. I need to be some glitching. I need to be some glitching. Oh, wheels this time right at the sticks. No. And they will give him a first down, and it does stop the clock at the 35-yard line. That run was like a slow-motion play from <laughs> one of those like football movies, you know, like Varsity Blues where Van Der Beek's putting his life on the line one time, and he got clapped. I don't want your life. I don't want your life. That's a great football movie. Absolutely. Right? That's a good one. So first and ten. 35-yard line. No timeouts now, so... Didn't get out of bounds, actually used that final timeout. You got to think Pony's either in a two or a four right here with those two high safeties. Big play! This time, doesn't get out of bounds again. Wow, so that knee came oh, down it's ticking. Out of bounds, and this clock is running. It's ticking, and he has no timeouts, Coltrane. This is big. There's Rodgers. Six seconds left in the half. Ruins! Oh, and now you got maybe on, one play. Come on, come on man. And so twice it looked like maybe Rodgers got out of bounds. And then the second pass to the sideline looked like he got out of bounds, but the knee went down. And it's going to cost him points. It's going to cost him, yeah, like I said. No came out. Those would have been valuable right there on this side. You've got to protect the sidelines right now if you're calling 43 yards from pay dirt. Final play of the half. Ooh. He's going to try to throw a quick one here. So one more play after the drop. Third and 10 at the 43. Trying to get a quick one to the outside, maybe attempt a long field goal. 
Yeah, for this bomb on right here, but we all know who the king of the Hail Mary is. <laughs> it's Aaron Rodgers. He's got beat one on one. Throws this one up into the end zone, and Cooper can't come down yeah, with it in traffic. And at the end of the half, it was an opening drive for Pony. That got him a three point lead. And that is where we're at at the half. Defensive ball game, RG. Yeah. Hey, we talked about it at the start of the game. Madden, you can often get in a battle of who wants to throw the game away more on offense. Neither one of them did good defense. Beautiful Niagara Falls here at halftime. And we got a great new feature as you guys. If you haven't played long shot in Madden, you've been missing out. We'll see you after the half. Devin, I covered your career at the University of Texas. Where'd you disappear to? that we put Memphis on the NFL map. A long shot from the depths of the unknown to being drafted by an NFL team. All the eyes on you. What's to stop you from hightailing again? Let me ask you something. Why are you here? Because football's my life. My father used to say, when the world knocks you down, get back up again. Wait is miles behind. Long shot. You're gonna get hit today. You're not the only one trying to get drafted. Yeah. No man, forget you. Forget you. This time around. Devin Wade at the line for the final play of the game. It's the biggest moment of your life. Let's go out there and prove to the world that we belong. Sky Cole, RG. And RG, defensive first half. Yeah, that was a real defensive first half, but I told you, it, Madden 18 often gets into these battles. Who wants to throw it away on <laughs> offense more? You're going to throw a pick six, I'll throw one right back. Not these guys. They're showing you why they're here. They're composed. They're not forcing the ball, and they're both very much in this game. This is a complete toss-up. This second half is going to be remarkable. It's anybody's ball game having a lot of fun watching this. <laughs> and, you know, we see that especially when you get into these live events where when you're online, man, you're, you're throwing the pill around. You're taking some chances. But when you get to a live event and you're seeing elimination, survive in advance, you're a bit more careful with the rock. Yeah, and there's a lot more on the line, like you said. You know, it's not some online game where you just hop into another match and, you know, things don't go your way. Things don't go your way here. You're going home. And the other thing is, Pony's the only one that qualified for the Madden Challenge. For, for the other three competitors, this event is do or die if they want to make, have a chance of making that ultimate league at the end of the year. Absolutely, RG. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Lauren, take it away. Thanks, guys. If you're watching at home streaming right now, no doubt you haven't noticed Pon uh, Pony Montana. Pretty expressive guy when he's playing, also pretty expressive on social media about his streaming career. We want to share with you a tweet right now from less than a month ago that he put out. He said, I don't know who to thank, but whoever it was that decided on the club series this year, thank you. You are giving so many different people a chance at making a live event, including myself, that thought we couldn't be more grateful for the opportunity, so thank you. And again, if you're watching at home, want to participate in the conversation with the community while you're watching the live stream, that hashtag to use is hashtag Bills Club Championship. Once more, hashtag Bills Club Championship. Back to you guys. Well, thank you so much, Lauren. Well, we're here at the half, a 3 nothing game. Pony with the lead. Opening drive, went down, stalled out, but that three points right now has been the difference. Yeah, real quick, Scott, before we go into strategy and whatnot, <laughs> a huge shout out to the NFL and EA. Like, sure, To acknowledge Absolutely. Pony's tweet, because this is fantastic. It's given so many people a chance to not only make live events, but be involved with their favorite NFL organizations. It's not like I can go out tomorrow and try out for the Patriots or the Bills or whoever it may be, sure. but you know what? When it comes to competitive gaming, there's an outlet for you to get involved, and anybody can do it. And again, huge shout-out to the NFL. Huge shout-out to EA for getting this thing started. First year with all 32 NFL teams, and I got a feeling we're just getting rolling with this stuff. There's big things coming. Well said. I've said many times this is the future of Madden football. This is Club Series. Let's take a look at the first half highlights. It's been all defense thus far between Pony and Ruins. 
Yeah, we'll take a look. Pony in the pocket. Ruins with a big third down sack right there. But Pony sticking to the keys to the game. Didn't force it. Says, come on, keep it coming. Bring it. Ice in his veins. Knocks down the field goal. That was the only points we saw, we'd see in the whole first half. But defense was the thing. Pony with the click on. Use a sack right there. Talvin Smith making it happen. Ruins doesn't blink. That kid knows how to keep his poise, man. But it was a lot of this sack after sack after sack on Aaron Rodgers. And you got to wonder, is that offensive line going to be able to step up? Because they're getting them killed. Let's, look, let's revisit your keys real quick, RG. What's got to happen in the second half? Well, I, I, like I said, this game is completely up for grabs. And both players are doing exactly what they said. Ruins not really turning the ball over, though he's had a, you know, punted or whatnot. And Pony not making any bad reads, really, so far. So, and... Both of them doing that, and the game's wide open. Pony's up three, but Ruins gets the ball at the second half. Can we just get this thing started? Because I want to <laughs> see who's going to win, because this is a fantastic game so far. Great way to kick off the Bills Club Championship event. Well, your wish is my command. Second half here in semifinal number one. Ruins is going to get the ball first. And for the first time today, he's got to get something going. He's, he's, he's put a few nice dots together, and of course, this Kick out of bounds is going to help us opportunities. It's going to start at the 40-yard line. Big mistake by Pony. Wow, that's big. He tried the scum kick. There's like a scum kick that's out there in the meta right now. <laughs> Sometimes it bounces around yeah. and you can't get to it. But it goes out of bounds and you give Ruins the ball on the 40-yard line with his offense struggling that much and you're only up three. That could be a costly special teams mistake right there for Pony Montana. Let's see. Well, Ruins, he's got the... The weak offensive line, especially in the passing game here. Try to try go me, a try me, try me, let's go! Oh. Try me! I'm lost for words here. 16-yard loss. Had called for the screen and didn't, didn't throw it out there. Hey, Ruins is willing to take a sack, man. Huh? He, if he threw that screen, Pony was lurking like a maniac. He was all over it. He read it perfectly. And the smart move right there by Ruins not to throw that pass and take the sack because that would have been a turnover. Well, that's where you throw it away and you take the penalty. I mean, he he, he would have lost less yardage from the penalty from the from the penalty than than to drop that far back. Would have been a spot foul, but comes back with an absolute great possession catch right at midfield, and he wants to go with tempo. RG. Oh my goodness! Hurry up, offense! Keep your rhythm going, Ruins. Way to bounce back after a big sack, get the first down, and I love how he ruins the game. Is able to just keep his composure in these tight situations. We talk about it all the time. He's showing you why it's so important. Mr. Reed, Mr. Couple rolling Reed. out, finds his man once again. This time down to the 26. And so now he's in field goal range. We'll have an opportunity to tie it up. You can't afford to take a big sack here. You got to at least tie it up here on the first drive. Yeah, you don't want to turn it over, but then you're right. You also can't take the sack and get yourself out of field goal range. And as we've seen, he's, he's had some problems not taking sacks. You got to expect him to just run the ball right here. And he goes to Adrian Peterson, who almost got away. He'll eke out a yard. How big was that missed kickoff? Andre Reed has been huge for him today. Swings it outside, and Peterson will pick up four before he goes out of bounds. Big third and five coming up. Yeah, I love this play right there. That's one of my favorite plays. I used to run that all the time. Especially someone that's got a strong user. You, you make them commit to something. Pony does a nice job of of, hey, I'll let you have the four yards, but yep. you're not going to have anything downfield. Well, Pony needs to take those level routes coming over the middle, and then it's up to the cloud flat to cover that tight end corner and the running back flat. Good read right there by Ruins. Ah. And there is Peterson sort of dragging across the middle there to the 12-yard line. That'll move the chains. I'm telling you, Scott, I'm looking at Ruins' composite, like the way he's sitting playing this game. He's been in the same posture the entire game. He hasn't even blinked. I mean, this, this kid's got at least 90 poise rating. At least a 90. For a moment there, I thought you were, combining, I thought you were combining two words, composure and posture. <laughs> He's got composture you know, something you, like you that. You know me. I'm all, I, wouldn't be, I wouldn't put it past me. I'm all over the place. He goes to Peterson there at the split set. He's going to lose a yard. So here comes second and 11 from the 13, and this is where Pony 
on his first drive, he stalled out. It gets really tough down here in the red zone. It really does, especially when he's just got gooned all over. Each person on his defense is just gooned out. Using up a lot of the clock. Last were open, missed them. Half it going by. He's going to run with Rodgers. Oh, good. And he's able to slide down. That'll pick up two. And now it's third and ten. It gets back to the original line of scrimmage. I know I keep saying big play, but in a one-possession game, they all feel big. They're all big, and you're, and you're playing five-minute quarters. Every play, every possession, everything counts. There's less room to set things up. There's less room for error, and that's one of the things that makes competitive Madden so intense is there's just such a limited space for error. Everything counts. This could be not just a big play, but the biggest play of the game thus far, Scott. Trailing by a field goal. Barely gets the playoff. Rodgers. They force it into Peterson. He'll go nowhere, and I assume he'll tie the game. Yeah, that was good defense. Pony Montana's work on defense is the real deal. Yep. I've seen him several times take away the read that Ruins is looking for and then immediately go peel back and take away the next read in the progression. Phenomenal lurking ability by Pony Montana, and that's why he's that's a key reason why he's considered one of the best Madden players in the country. Pony Montana is just gonna get in to a regular oh, defense oh, there, oh, not yeah, willing to yeah, like chance a block and have a fake field goal ran against you. So it's three three a minute forty left in the quarter. I know that you're out here and it's we gotta And go. Pony, you see him kind of singing to himself. I asked him what's in your playlist uh, when you're playing. He says he goes, he goes with a lot of R&B. He used to, you know, have some rap and some pump-up music in there. Said the R&B helps him out a little. Oh, no. Well, Casey and JoJo, that far back? He had Casey and JoJo, some Usher. He said he needs something, sweat. Need something smooth to keep him calm. And if there's ever a time to be calm, it's right here. But... So you're speaking my language, man. You're talking about early, <laughs> early 90s R&B. <laughs> Old school. The, the, the big, be, terrible kick right there for Ruins, though, as we were talking about R&B, gave Pony Montana great field position. And there goes Randall Cunningham. Got down! And he'll fight his way to the 48-yard line. Got to be careful with those hits. Big gain of 12. Oh, he is fortunate that that ball didn't come out. There was no big hit. There was no strip attempt. But if one of those animations had played, there's a good situation. Cunningham could have let that ball loose. Bunch to the right, little motion. Cunningham finds Brendan Cooks underneath on a drag. That's going to pick up eight. That'll be second and two. You got to use Cook's speed. He's got some speedsters out there. Yeah, Cooks is... Tyreek Hill, Brendan Cooks. He's a base elite cooks. I believe he's 89 speed, but when you're talking about mud and salary cap, 89 speed's not bad at all. At the 40. Needs to be Gets oh! it away. But he was hit as he threw. Take a look at this again, RG. The heat coming off that right edge. He's running. He's running. He's running. Put it there, please. Anywhere. Just right there. Not able to make it happen. He wanted to, just a little late. Third and two. Big stop. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? And he's going to go with a oh, hurry up. Oh, no. He's saying, what am I doing? He might be tilting right now. You're going to watch a corner out, a corner out on this side. Corner out coming out here. And he finds Cooks oh, up so underneath the coverage. And that's going to be enough like to move the sticks. And I would have got dotted right there. I would have been looking for the sidelines and the corner routes. Great time to throw a nice dig route. First down. Yeah, just a baby dig. But it was enough to pick up the first down. There it is. Oh, Starting to get into a rhythm come here. On, this time man. it's Tyreek Hill. Come on, man. He's in the red zone at the 19 as the third quarter is starting to wind down. And now it looks like he found a little hole in the defense, but after you throw it over the middle and get some completions there, you got to be careful because now the user defender is going to be all over that stuff. You can expect Ruins to be playing that middle hard. If your pony you might want to look to run the ball, maybe mix in a halfback screen, attack those sidelines. Ruins going to be all over the middle of the field right here. You know, we've only really had one big run, and it was by Pony Montana. At some point here, one of these guys has got to break one loose. Yeah, he kind of went away from that pitch. 
And here, we can expect it right here. He's either Everybody that way or that way. More pitch. Stevie J style. <laughs> Stevie J style, Pony Montana. Right. Well, throw your fours up. We're in the fourth quarter of semifinal number one. By the way, we're live from Buffalo. The Patriots and the Bills are going through walkthrough, like literally like 50 feet away from us. Yeah, that's cool stuff. When you get to come to these events and you get to see the team, teams going through walkthroughs right next to you, stadiums right there, you get to interact with the organization. Bills have been a you know, first class organization the whole time here, treating us great, feeding us great. I mean, I, I love this trip to Buffalo. It's got a college atmosphere and I mean that in a good way. Yeah. Oh, it's so, uh, there's, there's like a mom and pop shop restaurant on every other avenue and the food's fantastic, good culture. I'm enjoying Buffalo. The big play right here, though, Coltrane. Third and 18 from the 27. He's got a streak coming up this seam. Deep crossing coming over there. There's Quick the throw to J.J. Nelson. Spins down to the 14-yard line. That's not going to be enough, and he's going to have to settle for another field goal. Wow. Both players doing a great job this whole game of keeping their composure. I can't stress it enough. And look at that perfect kick. You see that blue flicker right there? Can't be blocked. Yeah, if you kick the ball and you get it right on that line where it says 100% and you get the perfect and then you kick it in that accuracy window, this accuracy window right here, and if you kick it on that line right above there when it says perfect, you get that blue flicker. And what that means, like you said, is your kick cannot be blocked. It's a way to prevent your field goal from being blocked. Oh, and there's the scum kick. This time, the <laughs> this time it works out for them. Take a look at Duff's. Yo, Go by Duff's, get a little. Dog. We ate at Duff's last night. The wings was hitting. There was a real deal. The sauce was good. They were crispy. They weren't undercooked. We were missing you there, Coltrane. We got to go back yeah. tonight and do some damage. I don't want to put Delta on blast because I, I, I love me some Delta, but yeah, I, I, they, they made me miss out on some wings. Yeah, it's unacceptable. <laughs> Will you write a letter for me, a stern yeah. letter? Well, we weren't able to put as, a big a, as big a dent in the wings as I wanted to. We ended up having to take some home. <laughs> And I'm sitting there, I'm telling everybody, if Coltrane was here, this ain't happening. We would have put all these wings down. Well, after the kick and a loss of five, got some work to do for Ruins. I was about to say he was in a great position. But with the kickoff, he's in the shadow of his own goal. Wow. Apologize Almost threw a pick six. Well, that's the thing about the scum kick. I, it's something that I expect to see addressed throughout the year. You know EA like, and the Madden team is constantly updating the game, getting yep. rid of no, issues, evolving the meta. Um, but the thing with it is there's a risk-reward to it. We've seen them try it a few times, got the ball on the 40. That time it paid off for Pony. And now you got yourself in a really awkward situation if you're Williams. Yeah. Be this right is a there. huge play. Third and 15. 328 on the clock. Scream. Scream. Screaming. Let's go! Picked up. He's not right. Come There's on, Jeff man. Brooks, the former Buccaneer, takes it to the 13. All I care about and is Pony Boy's Boy's got an opportunity with a touchdown to put this one on ice. And look at his user defender. Come, come back around with the crossing route. I got it. I'm making work. The telestrate is a mess. Use a word, controlled him from start to finish. But I don't know what was bigger. Was it the Come interception on, or the Come tackle? Because that looked like it could have been a pick bro. six, make it two possessions. But Bruin stops him, and we know it gets stingy here on the goal so line. This is going to be a big drink. stand right here, but he ruins cookie. the game. If you hold him to three, still a one possession game, you could come down with a touchdown and win this semifinal number one. By the way, we got point spread. Grizzly Adams coming up in semifinal number two. It's going to be a heck of a final here in Buffalo. And there is the Cooks one beneath me recognizes the with bottoms out with. And more importantly, RG gets himself a fresh set of downs. That is huge because right now he's going to be able to, uh, after this play, take it to the two minute warning Even unless Ruin wants to start using names. some of those timeouts right here. And we're in the fourth quarter. Ever seen Control a million of the cats, game gotta right count it Pony. carefully. Ever made love to the woman they Singing, he's feeling it. I, I, I don't know when Pony Montana's hey. album's coming out, but can I pre-download it on, <laughs> on iTunes? <laughs> I'm with you. Hey, you go to the stream, you'll get to see some <laughs> yeah. of that. You know, you gotta go support the stream. Big Ron, he's in! And it's double M G until I get Montana the 10. first here in Buffalo, but more Let's important. Let's go, man! 
With this extra point, it's going to put him up 10, RG. And my excuse oh, is that is young, and I'm You should see him in his seat as you see him right there. He's rapping. He's screaming, one. let's go. And he knows he just gave himself a prime opportunity to advance of the championship game of this Bills Club championship. Huge plays right there from Pony. Ruins back completely against the wall right now, but it's not it's over. Perfect. Scum Give it to down. me. Give it to me. Oh, let's go. I hate seeing that. I'm sleep. Take a look at this again. I hate seeing that. Look at this run. Oh, we're going to finish this one out right now. Ooh. Care about about it. There. And I might just touch that heat That like scum that, kick right? has really yeah. had a so huge you know, factor in this game. He's put Bruins into you know, really it's awkward it's positions to start his drives. Running. And when you got I'm a tanked made, offensive man. line and you got to oh, worry about the safety, it's not a good look. Nice job getting out of his own end zone there out to the 21. That's Miles Jack, former UCLA Bruin. It's a playoff before the two minute warning, but right up the gut. Big time sack. That's been really the key to this game is Pony Montana. The constant pressure. I asked him where the Pony Montana name came from. He said, hey, I was just a Scarface fan growing up. Yeah. Hey, we all like Scarface, you know. Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> Say hello to my skunk kick. He's had two of them. Both have been huge. Oh. And Cooper. Cannot go, hold man. on. Let's go, baby. Yeah. Somebody should have told you I'm on one. Third and 18. On he ruins this game. Let's see if he could ruin this game for Pony. Pick this up. Get himself some momentum. Ah, I fucked up. I fucked up. I fucked up. Oh, I fucked up. So third and 18. Hmm. Psych himself out. Psych, psych yourself out. Psych yourself out. I'm there Rogers, I'm there rolling left. Got him. Had a man Mike. open. Dropped it. And Cooper dropped it. He had Andre Reed wide open on the corner round. He was just standing there. It was a little bit too late. And in this game, it's a game of inches. You hesitate for a split second, Coltrane. That's all it takes. And he Grammy. ruins this game. Might have just ruined this game for himself if he can't pick up this first down. Fourth in the game. You want to play rough? Okay. Of course, he still has three timeouts. Three timeouts for both of these guys. But needs some magic. Got it. A little mad magic. That's mine. Late. Thank you. Oh. You don't play with White Jesus, Travis. Let's go. And he will take it to the crib. It's over. And look at it's over. And the emotions of Pony. When you do one of those aggressive let's goes, that's just hours and hours of lab time, as Gibbs would say, lifting those virtual weights and it all paying off and knowing that you most likely just punched your ticket to the Bills championship game. Pony's got to be feeling it right now, and it's well-deserved. It's been a long journey for that young man, and he's putting the work, the time, and the effort all paying off right now and everyone's getting to see the fruits of his labor. 17 unanswered points as Cooper works his way out to the 25-yard line. He's got three timeouts, 91 seconds. He ruins playing three great quarters. Still could never get the offense going. Yeah, hey, let's give a shout out to Ruins, right? I mean, he's a full-time student. It's not easy to do. He's still qualified here. This is his first year. He really committed himself to Madden and tried to qualify for a live event. He was able to do it. I mean, this young man should keep his head up. Going back to the air. Get him. Rodgers again. Him. He's going to get tripped up at the 17 um, right as Vernon yeah, chases um, him down. And I, I like how Pony clicks on to the D lineman and dives and tries to make the user sack. The more you can try to do a user, not let the computer do stuff. You get rewarded. It. You get rewarded, and it's always good to see, especially on this level of play. And you're going to see that a lot of times. Your user players, get your get most him. Players. Get him! And it's a fumble. It's on the ground. And able to recover is Ruins. But that's Telvin Smith, the former Seminole, yeah, who said goodbye to Jimbo Fisher oh, from yeah. the Texas A&M. How about that, huh? What a state. Hey, when you're in the same division as Clemson, I get it. You got you to gotta get out and go somewhere else. <laughs> Such a whole <homer. laughs> Sure. Third and 29. Oh, hey, well, the, the Bills have a long history with Clemson guys. 
All the way back to Jerry Butler. Wide out. Sammy Watkins sports with the Rams now. Shaq Lawson still hanging around. One of the big differences in this game was just the offensive line. I mean, ruins this game tanked his entire offensive line. They were all only 10 cap, and it really showed. Where Pony on the other line, he didn't have the greatest offensive line, but they were all at least gold players. They weren't silver, they weren't bronze. He had an all gold offensive line, tanked some of the other skill positions, but that gave him the time he needed to make plays when it counted. You gotta think twice about tanking that offensive line completely. If you Rogers really dives the for the sideline, able to get there. Should be the final play of the game. Look at the composture of Ruins. He has not left that poi. That it's not a word, but it is now. Composture? Y y y posture. You know what I mean. I'm sorry. It's composure with posture. I'm sorry. Composture. You got me. I like it. We'll go with it, right? Composture? I, I will send a, if you send a letter to Delta about I'm me like, being late, I'll send a letter to Webster's. Uh, <laughs> we'll get it in there. <laughs> I'm infamous for making up my own. Final play the of the game, and it's a touchdown for Ruins. Unfortunately, there's no 11-point conversion. Yeah, we'll, we'll see point spread play later on today, but unfortunately, point spreads are not relevant in this game right here, so it's not going to do anything for Ruins. Just a little morale booster, if anything. But well, that's the final in this one, 20-10, to 10, and it was all the second half by Pony Montana. There you go. So show her respect. It's one thing you love, you know, yeah. after the game, hard-fought battle, you always dap up your opponent at, at the end. It's the equivalent of sending that GG message. Well, 20-10, to 10, Pony Montana is going to move on to the finals. He'll face the winner of Grizzly in point spread. Of course, you know, Pony was a favorite coming in here took care of business and he's standing by with Lauren Lard. Pony Montana we saw you get more and more animated as things really started to go your way in that second half we heard some what were we listening to you singing Rick Ross Drake where was your head at I, I was just I couldn't play offense so like I just had to try to dominate on defense which I did and you know the music kind of took over once as I uh, you know but yeah, that was pretty much it, man. It's just take over on defense, and that's exactly what happened. Will that be your strategy going into the championship yeah, game today? Always. I spent like 700 cap on defense, so like that's that's got to make the plays for me, and it did. So. All right, it was on point in that first game. Good luck in the championship. Thank you. Back to you guys. Thank you so much, Lauren. There he is. An emotional win for Pony Montana.